On our Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera, we are seeing the passing clouds now with some clearing out there as the sun sets. Basically, what's been going on today is we have this area of low pressure just off to our north and slightly off to the northeast now. Behind that, uh, or associated with that low pressure system, we had that cold front move through, producing those strong and severe thunderstorms earlier today. Additionally, high pressure quickly developing uh, over Texas and Oklahoma, and so this this tight pressure gradient, this quick change in pressure is resulting in those strong winds we have been seeing. The good news is we're starting to see some clearing uh, in our skies, but still a few very light showers possible as we head into the night on Live Doppler 2 HD. You can see some rain beginning to move through Muncie now. That will track across our northern counties, even a few flurries possible across northern Ohio, but not too likely here in the Miami Valley. In your hour by hour forecast, we're still tracking those high winds. That high wind advisory through 7 p.m. Still a bit gusty at 9 o'clock and then we'll start to see the wind calm down a little bit with some clearing skies and additionally temperatures tonight dropping into the 30s. Peak gust today was up to 66 miles per hour, but now we are looking at those winds overnight and into tomorrow uh, being closer to 20 or 30 miles per hour. So uh, factor in that wind chill for tomorrow morning. Well, we are looking at wind chills in the 20s at 2 a.m. It'll feel like it's 29 degrees by 7 a.m. Tomorrow morning, we're looking at a wind chill of 25 degrees. I mentioned that peak wind gust that was at Dayton International Airport, 66 miles per hour. Bell Fountain at 61 miles per hour. Wright Patterson Air Force Base, 60. Wapakoneta 58, Springfield 57, Northampton 54 miles per hour. So those high winds produced tree damage. Our weather checker Bill Telzero sending in this photo there near Beaver Creek. A big tree limb down uh, right there. So very strong winds. That's the reason we're seeing all those power outages. Additionally, a closer look at our wind gust forecast. There's that low pressure system we're talking about. These are lines of constant pressure. The tighter those lines are together, the stronger our winds are going to be. Notice this low is going to take a north and northeastward track. And so we're going to slowly start to see those lines expand just a bit and therefore our winds will lighten up. But we're still looking at 20 to 30 mile per hour winds early tomorrow morning, but less winds into the afternoon. Now Monday, our sustained wind will be around 15 miles per hour. Wind on Tuesday, we're going to see another cold front come through 18 miles per hour sustained, but then we're looking at some calmer conditions, a break in the wind on Wednesday. Right now, our peak wind gust in the last hour, 33 miles per hour at Dayton and Bell Fountain. Tonight, your low temperature, 33 degrees. It will be gusty with clearing skies. That gust still around 35 miles per hour, but tomorrow we start to lose the gust. It'll be sustained around 10 to 20 miles per hour. 49 degrees, your high temperature. In your hour by hour forecast, notice we've got some sunshine returning to the Miami Valley. Temperature, once again, your high 49 degrees on Monday. Temperatures stay in the 40s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we're going to see a warming trend high by 60 degrees by Friday. And so our low temperature starting off in the 30s. You're below 25 degrees Wednesday morning.